G'day YouTube. Today we're going to talk about checking ISO files, burning ISO files, and then checking the CDs made from those ISO files. I obtained the materials from today for today's lesson from a site which mirrors FreeDOS. It has the ISO files and it has the image, uh, the image uh, digests. From this website I've manufactured a digest file, as you can see there, and the ISO file has just been downloaded into this folder. For ease of use, I've also burnt the CD already, but I'll show you the process involved. To check the ISO, we need to use a program called MD5SUM. One way we can use MD5SUM is using the dash C modifier, uh, which enables us to use a digest file. We're going to try that first. MD5SUM dash C FDB.digest. And it says it's OK. If it weren't OK, and I'll simulate this by editing the digest file, what you'll see is an error. So I artificially make this erroneous by putting an F instead of an E. And we can see that the ISO failed in this case. Of course our ISO is not defective. We'll change that back to an E. And we can see that's fine. The other way to do it is to just simply use the digest file and do a using your I to check it, uh, see if it's correct. Here's the digest's hash that it suggests and we can do MD5SUM and we can see that that is correct. We can use our eye to see see that that's correct. Um, perhaps a clever way to have done it, and I'll just, tr uh, I'll just try this. I'm, I'm trying this on the fly. I didn't really think I would do it, but we can use um, the first program, or the first command, and diff check the difference against the second command. Well, that didn't really work, did it? No, but that doesn't matter. We can just see there that they are visually identical. So now that we know that our image is uh, is fine, not corrupted, we can then uh, use that image to burn a CD copy of it. How we would do that is we would type wodim, then the file name. and then device equals slash device slash SR0 in my case. It might be if it's a second drive on your machine, slash device slash SR1. You'll have to check your slash device directory to find the correct one. Some of this information can also be gleaned from your fstab file which is located in forward slash etc. This would burn that uh, disk or that image onto that disk um, however, uh, you might find when you're using a CDRW that it does not burn. One way we can do the, uh, we can fix that problem is by modifying this command with blank equals fast. If you look up the man page for Wodem, you'll find that there are a number of other ways of blanking, such as the all one, which is much slower but may be needed for difficult CDRWs that do not wish to burn correctly. I've already prepared a CD as I said at the beginning of this video, or at least I think I said it, and so we don't need to go through the process of burning it. But what we can do is then check it. In order to check a CD against its image, we need to do uh, something to modify uh, the commands that we would normally use. I'm going to try the unmodified version first. dd input file equals slash device slash sr0 pipe to md5sum. What this does is it reads bit for bit uh, using dd. It reads uh, the cd 
located in slash device slash SR0 pipes the output as standard output to MD5 sum, which will make, like we did before, a hash of the CD image, the contents of it. We'll notice that when this comes up, after a while, it will come up with an erroneous hash sum. The reason why it does this is it doesn't take it does not take into consideration the um, the bits that are added to a burnt CD. You'll find that CDs that you purchase, uh, original mastered CDs, don't have this issue, such as an Ubuntu CD that you bought from Canonical or some other image um, that you could check from a uh, commercial CD. Here we can see it is erroneous. This is not the same as what we can see. It's quite clear. So how do we correct this situation? The way to correct it is to use a program first called ISO info. We use the dash D to provide us with the information we're looking for and we do device equals slash device slash SR0. And we can see that the block size is 2048 bits. Or is that bytes? <laughs> I'm thinking bytes. Yes, bytes. The, uh, the next process is to find out the actual size of the image that you're basing this on. We can use a program called DU and use the dash B switch on the ISO file. This tells us exactly how large uh, the file size is. As you can see, I've already calculated this number divided by this number, which gives us 25077. That will be used in the next process. If we go back, we can see that we can add some things in here. We can say the block size equals 2048 and the count equals 25077. All this does is says that when you get to this point where you've counted 2000, sorry, 25,077 blocks which are 2048 bytes in length, stop there and pipe that information to MD5SUM. This will just take a moment because the ISO that I've used today is quite small as you can see. It's important that you do this step. You can't skip it if, you've, if you're using a burnt CD and it would be wise not to skip it in the first place even if using a commercial, commercially purchased or gratis provided CD from a publisher, a mastered CD from a publisher. And as we can see this is the same as that and the reason is that we've taken into consideration the true size of the ISO as opposed to the burn size of the ISO that's stuck on the CD. Anyway guys this has been an important video for checking uh, CDs and images. I hope that you learned something from it. Please provide any questions in the comments section I'll be happy to answer them as I, as I can. Thank you for your listening today and viewing. Bye.